Hey everyone, welcome to Damage Scaling YouTube channel. I'm your host, Eddie Wang, and today we are going to talk about Mortal Kombat 11. As you guys know, Mortal Kombat 11 is going to get an ultimate version. And so far, it's looking good. Netherrealm has been really talkative about it, which is a good sign. It means that they have listened to the critics and decided to make some positive changes in the game. We are just waiting to see what is that they have changed and what they really haven't changed in the game in order to actually give an enjoyable experience. For me, the vanilla MK11 is really something that left a bad taste in my mouth and I really hope that this ultimate version does some things right that the, the vanilla version didn't do and aftermath was a step in the right direction but it's really just not where we expect it to be so i'm going to give my give you guys a wish list of what i expect to see change as as you guys are seeing in this video on the next week is where we are going to get, have the the melina combat cast and it also where they are going to discuss uh, the changes for the ultimate version of the game there is some changes we don't know exactly how many but i really hope that are the right ones that are going to take this game to a bigger longevity a game that rewards player for under really understanding the game and playing the game without having to do some of the crazy stuff like this game really does right now and really turns off a lot of people so we know for sure that there is no longer three options of delay at wake up there is just wake up or delay at wake up there is no short and long delay they remove that from the game thank god and i can show you why this sucks like right now as you guys are seeing if i do a squid and then i try to meet the cage i can never meet cage because staff tend to completely whiff against cage all the time so it he has invincibility frames as he wake up and he can wake up with buttons and hit you before you actually hit him so it's something that this game has and this turns off a lot of people so what they did is they removed the the, the long delay so there is now just delayed and no delay and there is a visual animation whenever someone does a delay at wake up that you will be able to see another thing that they seems to be changing this is speculation by now because we don't have confirmation yet is that now you can actually meet meet people as they are standing up you can actually hit them as they are standing up instead of just like uh, for example see this this is not even hitting so now i guess it's possible it's really possible that we can actually hit them as they are standing up in the in the wake up option so it's something that i really expect to see uh if we're gonna get confirmation of meat is actually being back in the game because meat is part of every fighting game and in this game meat is almost non-existent if really not existent at all because uh, the opponent can just wake up buttons so we don't know what else has changed but i do have a wish list of things that I would expect to change in the game uh, and I wanted to share this list with you guys so just maybe we are going to get some of them and I'm going to start by the obvious one and the less obvious one so the most obvious in my opinion that they are going to change is Fatal Blows Fatal Blows is one of the worst offenders of this game because uh, you spend your Fatal Blow it has pushback if blocked which makes it zero save some characters cannot even punish it and after a few seconds it comes back and then it's all over again and again and again and the, the threat is always there as long as fatal blow returns uh, it really it just changes the game entirely to favoring who uh, whoever has fatal blow so I don't think this is something that should exist and every single fatal blow in the game should either be punishable 
really punishable i mean no more pushback bullshit and if you use a fatal blow then your fatal blow needs to go away from that round if it was blocked not only when hit if it was blocked then it should go away from the game and should only come back on the next round because you've already missed this stuff of reusing fatal blow a bunch of times in the same game after you missed is is bonkers doesn't really work for this game at all another thing is characters that can cancel the fatal blow to do combos uh well these characters need to have a longer uh how do we call this cooldown a longer cooldown whenever they cancel the fatal blow and just if they use as well and he gets blocked then he shouldn't come back on the same round just saying another change that i expect to see is to break away breakaway command shouldn't be down block you should be forward mass plus block sorry just mixing portuguese in english here so this should be forward block instead of down in block and breakaway the art the, for example if they delay it for too long there should be a window where if i hit them it should stop them a little bit on the screen and this seems to eat away inputs as well so it becomes kind of hard to you can see the, you can see them break away but you cannot buffer like for example this special white here for armor break so this is something that i expect to see a fix if i hit people with for example a jab i should be able to connect for example this and connect whatever it is that i am expecting to hit and this also mess messes up input as you guys can see i'm trying to use my combos but the breakaway is just eating away my standing 2-1 when usually this works but right now because the breakaway is active i'm not able to do a breakaway because it eats up inputs so it's a bug that breakaways have now it works but but whenever someone breaks away uh, you won't get to do like for example your full string because the breakaway just eats away that that input right and this this is something that i expect to see a change or they should be changing this to a breaker uh to a breaker because breaker is always better but it should have a repercussion on meter in general so another change that i really expect to see uh and this one is something that i think it's particular more to to pokes and the poke system in this game is annoying it's pokes are just too good uh, and this is probably the worst the poke has been ever since mkx in max some characters every character at least had an 11 frame need at least that could deal with pokes but in this game characters like cash can just uh, do this all day and this is bad and i'm going to show you why this is bad so i'm going to turn on frame data for both characters and i'm going to show you why this this sucks this poke is seven frames and minus three on block as you guys can see so it's a really ft poke a really a really annoying poke that that you can really not do anything about it in general it doesn't matter if you have a flawless block launch for example if you have a nine frame flawless block launch you really cannot uh deal with this poke because this poke is minus three see and you can not even launch this poke despite you flawless blocking and cage not being able to cancel it into whatever so this is a big problem it's a big problem and and i really hope that at least they made uh down ones special mids instead of mids and by doing uh, by being special mid every character in the game should be able to short hops uh down one so that you cannot uh because sometimes your option is to either just flawless block down one poke back 
or grab and all this it comes down to guessing whatever it is that your opponent can do if i make a good read i should be allowed to backdash uh away from that ones and should also be able to to uh to short hop uh down ones and just use my neutral my neutral two neutral three whatever but as long as it short hops over down ones this would be an amazing change in the game another option comes from perfect legend pl where he says that if you do a reversal backdash it should have invincibility frames i still think that backdash should have a little bit more range uh, because it would make this poke grab game a little bit less annoying right because this is how this game is played for example scarlet doesn't have a poke to counter poke johnny cage so she cannot use mids because his poke is always going to win regard regardless right uh so what she can do is to force a grab out of johnny cage uh, in order to actually win a trade but in situations such as this it's really hard to just beat johnny cage into it because they can just bait you into a into option selects and stuff and and beat your and beat your grab and even you going for a grab because it's the only poke that you have you are putting yourself at risk of getting hit by a crushing blow that launches into a full combo this is how these games work another thing that i don't really like in general is the damage that crushing blows deal they deal too much damage 30 percent is too much for a crushing blow in my opinion combo should remain the most damaging things in in the game but crushing blow shouldn't do 30 percent damage it should do at least 20 uh it would be an okay number but doing 30 percent damage from a crushing blow it's it's insane and some characters already have crushing blows in within their meta like for example sub-zero uh scarlet in his poke throw game because it's something that is the only thing that she can do because she doesn't really have a good mid and some are just going to automatically trigger whatever for example sub-zero has a slide that if he does it three times he's going to activate a crushing blow geras used to have this meta crushing blow thing that everything he did it was against you and would automatically give him a crushing blow because the meta was on his favor and some characters i like that now like jackie for example is one of these characters uh cassie cage has an advancing string that has a crushing blow attached to it and it's safe and it's four two three just for the irony and among stuff like that so i really hope they reduce the crushing blow damage to 20 percent which is 200 damage it will be okay some characters even do have like a, a dot right dot damage which is damage over time if they they do an in this an initial 100 or 200 damage and then they deal damage over time after i think those this, those crushing blows are good but this 300 20 percent crushing blows are too annoying are too much to have in a game in my opinion fatal blows already do too much so having crushing blow doing fatal blow damage is too scrubby in my opinion so another thing i expect to see changed in the game uh and this goes to meter the resource management that there is none in this game and then you have characters that do depend of the the resource manager but since the game is something that is really non-existent those characters just hack away for example Liu Kang is among these characters Jackie Cetrion are very oppressive characters that always have meter and always have something to do and there isn't really a way to punish those characters because they are always with meter they always have breakaway they always have meter to attack and there is no resource management and this is just as bad as having characters that build meter too fast in the game so my suggestion to that would be and i expect they do this is for example when you spend meter uh, the meter shouldn't come back on round 
taunt endings whenever you win and you spend meter if your meter is regenerating should stop until the match starts on round two round three or final round whatever but the meter shouldn't fill when a round is ended this would be a step on the right direction of course it wouldn't fix everything but it would be a good start another change that i would like to see on meter is that certain moves obviously the ones that are extremely reliable like launchers and things that condition people heavily should have a different refill rate compared to like uh, some regular moves for example i don't think uh that this move should refill on the same rate as uh this move for example just just to give you an idea so you only get a bad refill rate when the you use both meters or when you do like a, a breakaway but you should have a slower refill rate attached to certain moves i i cannot tell which ones but you can see among how characters plays there are moves that are often overused because they are really just that good so there is no repercussion for using those moves and this is something that i think that the realm dropped the ball i really like the concept of them having a meter that you don't have to worry about building but then there is no repercussion on using those moves and i was thinking that no there is no uh meter gaining in the game but maybe they are going to associate certain moves to a recharge refill rate which they didn't do it the meter just refills on its own whatever it doesn't matter the moves that you use it doesn't matter if you win a round while your character is on a round end taunt animation the meter is refilling and it's it's really a, a pleasure killer come on what is this there is no resource management in the game and this is one of the worst offenders of this game some characters need to depend on meter in order to have weaknesses and they don't have this in the game right now and that will wrap up for general change in my opinion and everything else is just bonus and of course there are character specific stuff i for example expect johnny cage down one to be a little bit more negative on width so instead of of 13 frame of a down one which is the fastest recovery down one in the game they should put this up to 18 frames at least every character should be able to launch every other character with flawless block up to just bring down some of the flawless block up to to 15 or 14 frames and no one in the game if you don't buff scarlet parry to seven frames or eight frame at least the cancel window of her move should be able to parry eight frame flawless block launchers because that way she can keep the gaps in her string which are too many but she should be allowed to reverse all those gaps with uh, with the pad which is something that she cannot do at least against specific characters in the game which are bonkers so this move right here uh, should really launch not exactly put people in the air but the capture should allow uh, like uh, for, for combos which is something that she doesn't do this is what I do hope for uh, for ultimate MK11 version of the game that this move right here should actually uh, just uh, put characters uh, into a stun that she is allowed to connect to one two and whatever else that she has of course they can make this uh, recharge a little bit slower in the refill late but it will be an interesting launching this should have a vertical launch on on, on how do we put it on armor break because the armor break is terrible 212 into this should should be a little bit more easier to do this move should be preferable which it isn't right now because the recovery is just it's really just too punishing on scarlet so she cannot while she can buffer this doing this out of some breakaways are really misleading and you tend up to drop all the time so doing a vertical launch to this so she is allowed to continue combos would be a good change and that 
it's all i think that scarlet should get i believe aftermath is a lot better than the regular vanilla scarlet for mk11 and right now i only think she doesn't need much outside of maybe a better cancel window so her party connects on eight frames uh vertical launch on ex back forward back forward three and of course this move launching because this is an universal move that should really launch regardless so this would make scarlet a whole and of course give tentacle to to emorage because emorage is a variation that also should use tentacle tentacle shouldn't be uh, a, a equipped move on variation one and two only should be universal some of the tools of emorage doesn't really make sense so tentacle would be a really nice adapt to 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 scarlet in general it's her best move it's her best move so this would be great so pushbacks on fatal blow should be gone should really be gone and should be punishable if not then the fatal blow should also return on the same round if blocked so this is the video let's see how many of those we are going to get right on the next week on melina stream of course of combat cast so see you guys there and let's just see what they are going to give i really think the game is going on the right direction right now and really hope they do make some some good things for the game and let's see what they are going to give to the characters in general